right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have here Josh Franksky and James Arthur and their song called Lose My Mind. So a great song here again from Mr. Arthur. We have the capo set here on the first fret and we have four different chords to go over here. So let's start with the chords first. We have the B minor, so that is second fret, a bar there from the A string and down, so that means five strings. And the rest will be fourth on D, fourth on G, and third on B. Then we have the F sharp minor. We we'll keep the bar here on the second fret, this time all strings. And the rest will be fourth on A and fourth on D. Then we have the G, so that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, open B this time, and third E. And the open B reason for that is we're gonna use some notes there where we want to have this open B emphasized, okay? So that's that, and the final chord is the D. So that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. All right, so there we have the chords. We have this intro based on the chords B minor, D, and G. So we're gonna go over the intro first. And I'm going to show you the notes for each and every chord. The B minor starts here with this little metal here. Okay, that is basically one part played two times. So you hold the second fret on the A string. Then comes the third fret B string. Then open E. And back to third B. These four notes you play for two times. So, second A, third B, open E, and third B. All right. Then we shift to the D part. That sounds like this. Sorry. All right. So that is open D. Third B, and I prefer you hold that third B as you do when you hold the chord, okay? So with your ring finger, usually. So open D again, third B, open E, and third B, okay? That's the first part. And then comes the open D, third B. second G and then comes this part and that is open E and then you hammer on the second E you just hammer on with your finger here and you end with the third B yeah so to summarize the D we had first round was open D third B open E and third B. On the second round it's open D, third B, second G, and then this part that is open E and second E, and you end on the third B. Right, and then we have the final part that is the G. So that is third on E in the bass, third on B, open E, and third B. So these four notes you play for three rounds. So and on the fourth round you're gonna play that part. And that is third on E in the bass, open B, third B, and open G. Okay, so that was the intro. It sounds like this uh, from the B minor to G. All 
right, so there you have it. Now let's start with the actual song, the first verse. It's the chord progression in the same way here, B minor two times, D two times, and G four times, all right? We're gonna look at the strummy pattern. It will be um, played first here with the B minor, so let's start with that chord. And the strummy will be down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. So, down, up, down, up, clap, up, down. Down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up. That is the strummy. So, for B minor, you want to emphasize certain notes. Okay, so on the first strummy round, you're going to play two rounds for this B minor. You want to emphasize the third fret on B string, the ones you're holding here with usually your uh, middle finger. So, and on next round, you want to release that one because you want to emphasize the second fret here on the B string, which you are holding with your bar. So just release that one and play that for one strum around and try to stick around the B string here. So. Right, so that's how you handle the B minor, two rounds. Then you shift to D. Same kind of technique here. You want to emphasize certain notes. So for for this first D round, you want to emphasize the open E string. This one. So that means you're gonna release that for the first round. So and on the second round, you want to emphasize the second fret B string. So that means you're gonna hold the grip like this. You're gonna release the third fret and put it on the second fret instead. You wanna emphasize this note. Right, so two strong rounds for D will be sorry. Okay, and then you have the G left. Here you want to emphasize the open B string, so that's the reason for why we're not using the G uh, with the third fret B string like we usually do here on chord guitar. We have this on open this time because the first note you want to emphasize here is the open B. So the first round, this one, and the second round you want to emphasize is the second fret G string. So you're gonna release the finger you're holding up here on the A string and put it down on the second fret G string. And with this finger here, you are holding on the third fret E string. You could, if you wish, you could just mute the A string. You just lean on top of the A when you're holding on the third fret E. In that case, you mute it and you try to push the second fret G string. This G chord is for four rounds. So you alternate this, you, uh, you emphasize the open B string first round and the, um, the second fret G string, second round, and you open the open B string on third round and then the second fret G string on the fourth round. So you just go like this, back and forth. All right, so that is the B minor two rounds, D two rounds, and G four rounds. You can skip all these notes to emphasize them, and then of course you just do the strumming two, two, and four, B minor, D, and G. You play this chord progression for two rounds, and that is the verse. Then comes the pre-chorus. You're gonna continue to play here in the same way. The only thing here is you're gonna play B minor for two rounds, D for two rounds, and G all, only for two rounds, and then it's a pause. In the same way with this emphasized notes. So that is the pre-chorus. And that takes us to the chorus. In the lyrics, I'll do whatever it takes. So that's where we are. You're gonna play the D for four strong rounds, the B minor for two rounds and G for two rounds. Here we can choose to emphasize the same notes we looked at in the verse, or you can just skip it. It's not that prominent here in the chorus, so you can just go with the strumming, standard strumming. Okay, and it's the same strumming here. So D4, B minor two, and G2. If you look at that as one chord progression, you're gonna play that for two rounds, right? And then we're still in the end of the chorus. We are in the lyrics, I'd rather lose my mind. So after these two rounds and you come to this part, I'd rather lose my mind. So on mind, you're gonna play two strumming rounds for D, then two strumming rounds for F sharp minor, then two for B minor and two for G. Okay, so let's go over one round of the 
uh, corporation for the chorus, the standard, the D, B minor, G, and then this ending, D, F sharp, B minor, and G. So let's go. Was the chorus and from now on there's not much new to it the second verse here will be played in the same way as the first one only one round of that chord progression instead of two and then comes the second pre-chorus played in the same way as the first one and the same goes for the second chorus played in the same way as the chorus we just learned then we have just the final part the outro part left it's in the lyrics if it had meant that i wasn't by your side till the day i die Okay, so that's the outro part. Here, you're gonna play the chords D, two rounds, F sharp minor, two rounds, B minor, two rounds, and G, two rounds. The first round here of this chord progression, you're gonna just gonna play down, clap, down, clap, like this. So that's the first round. And for the next two rounds with the same chord progression, you're gonna play the standard strumming. So down, up, down, up, clap, up, down, up for the same chords, same amount of times, two, 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 for two rounds. And the final round, because this is about four rounds in total, it will be only one down per chord. So D, F sharp minor, B, and G. And that is how James Arthur and Josh Friends, that says ski, I believe it's pronounced, song, Lose My Mind, ends. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please let me know. And I hope to see you here very, very soon again. So don't forget, guys, play tune.